Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your July 2018 reading. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, whatever. Um, we're going to get past, present, and future and I'm going to use some clarifiers. This may not resonate with you because I can't reach every single person, okay? I can't tell you where I got the candle. I can't tell you where I got anything because I don't keep track of that shit. So all you guys are going to, people that come to me and they ask, well, where'd you get your bracelet? Where'd you get your candle? Where'd you get anything? And I delete those comments because I don't remember. Okay. So just saying, this is for the sign of Scorpio for July. This is just a special edition. I will go back to my traditional readings the way I do it with the next, my weeklies. I just felt like doing these like this for some unknown reason. Ooh. Four of Swords, the Hangman, the Ace of Cups. Past, present, future. Wow. So Cancer got both of these cards as well. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Cancer. Ooh, we could be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus rules the throat chakra. Oh, okay. I just want to get this zoomed in before I go any further. I got my camera so tight that I can't even, can't even move it. All right. So, in the past, you may have felt a little withdrawn. You may have had to do, go through a, pe a period of rest and rejuvenation. You may have had to um, really think about something. Maybe you needed to take a time out in the past to work on your foundation. Maybe your inner foundation. Fours are about foundations. Okay, we have a couple of fours here. Maybe you had to figure out how you were going to communicate to somebody because uh, the throat chakra is about communication. Okay, so maybe you had to take a time out to figure out how what you were going to say, how you were going to say it about you know, in regards to your own happiness. So I feel as though, you know, in the past you were probably trying to come up with, with how to handle a situation as, 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 uh, comfortably as you could. Okay. So in your present, you've, you've been sacrificing yourself. That's the hangman. You've been resisting some sort of change. Okay. And this, you've been resisting looking at things from a new outlook, you know, resisting um, a new perspective. But you're being called to look at things from a new perspective and stop being being stuck. You've been stuck in in some sort of uh, stalemate per se. You've been going through a period of mental conflict. We have the Two of Swords down here, avoiding the truth, avoiding the truth of a situation. And that's why you've been contemplating in the past. You've been contemplating as to where your happiness lies. That's why you need to rest and rejuvenate because something is wearing on you. It has been in the past. So you've been trying to figure out what am I going to do? How am I going to communicate my true feelings? You know, so you've been taking that time out to really think about this, about your foundations as well. And you realize, I think, now that you've been sacrificing your time, you've been staying in this period that really isn't fulfilling. I think that it hasn't been fulfilling, but you've been trying to figure out how you can make it for fulfilling. This card right here, the solar plexus chakra, is the I can, I can. It's about power, it's about self-esteem, and it's about confidence. So you have been gaining those things through this period of rest and rejuvenation. You've been gaining self-esteem and confidence to accept the truth of a situation, okay? Because this right here, the Two of Swords, this is somebody who's been avoiding the truth. They've been ignoring the truth. And therefore, you probably did have to take that time out to really come to grips with the truth in regards to what you've been sacrificing, where you've been stuck. You know, you, you've had to really think about this. Think about 
what you want to do, where you want to go. And I think you know what you need to do because here we have the I know. This chakra is I know. So I think that you do know now at this time or you will in the future what what to do. It's going to come to you. Okay, you're going to know and you probably do now. Your inner guide has the answers, your intuition, so don't doubt it. You have been wasting your time in some situation as the hangman does. And it's really not a waste of time because you've been becoming enlightened right here. You've been becoming enlightened by by this period of withdrawal that you've been going through. It feels as though you you may have felt like you've been stuck in limbo, but this period has has been serving you behind the scenes, whether you know it or not. There's an opportunity for new love here coming in in the future because... And I, it could be even self-love because that's what it looks like to me. I think it's self-love because I don't I don't see any other, other love cards. And I see this Eight of Cups down here. This Eight of this is the future. This is the Eight of Cups. This is emotional withdrawal. So I feel like what's happening these this time of limbo is teaching you self-love. It's teaching you to do what's right for you. You know, and sometimes we all need to go through that period to figure out what's best for us. So I feel like this month you are probably learning about yourself. You're probably learning how to love yourself, okay? Because if you, you're going through some sort of change. You're going through some sort of enlightenment. That is going to make you happy. It is going to make you happy, but it, it does have to do with self-love. It does. It has to do with self-esteem and self-confidence, too. It's about finding that self-esteem and finding that self-confidence and following your inner guide and following your intuition and speaking up for yourself, speaking your truth, because the throat chakra, which is ruled by Taurus, speaks, and this is the truth, speaking the truth, speaking true communication, okay? Your truth through communication, so I feel, and it's in regards to love, okay? So I don't know what this is. We're going to get some clarifiers. But it does feel like you go through a period of emotional withdrawal still in the future. You do because of something. We're going to get some clarifiers here. I'm not exactly sure why. But you guys have been sacrificing yourself, hanging around in a situation that has made you feel stuck. Figuring out what you deserve, what you want. You may be, yeah, you've been sacrificing yourself needlessly. Oh, gosh. Oh. So there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of trust. There's a lack of believing in oneself. The Hierophant believes in themselves. This one is reversed. So you, and next to that tower card, it's like there's a, there's fear of sacrifice. There's fear of breakdown. There's fear of disaster here. Figure, trying to figure out what the hell you want. Trying to figure out what you deserve. Or figure if you want to go for what it... Or if this is what you deserve. I, this is absolutely self-love. This is. This is self-love. You are being divinely guided. This is a divine, divinely guided to love yourself, to do what's right for you, to find the resources within you, to take action, to bring success into your life. This much, and it's about manifestation. And it's funny because this was a seven, and this was a three, and it's a ten. And I was just adding it up in my head when I went silent there. And this is a one, and this is a one. And I was looking for another one, but we didn't have it. And now here we go. And so there's that one I was looking for in my head. Ones are are manifestation. It's about power. One is a very powerful number. It's about following your intuition. And I can see that at this time, you are being called to follow your intuition. So really, really take that to heart. I feel as though this is a month of regaining faith and love. Maybe you've lost faith in love because I see a loss of faith here. That's for damn sure. With that hair font reverse, there's a loss of faith. And maybe that's a loss of faith in yourself. And that's why you've been sitting in limbo. That's why you've been hanging around, really not making any moves. It feels as though you guys have been 
it's emotionally withdrawn with this eight of cups you've been emotionally withdrawn from from love because there's a lack of self-love here there is but you do have the resources and all the tools within you to manifest whatever you want and to bring success into your life whether that's success or success in other in in money or in love you have the opportunity to bring both of that into your life you have the opportunity to manifest money and love you do but you have to you have to use the resources to manifest that it feels as though you guys have a divine connection as well okay you do because the magician is a divine connection and sevens are a divine connection you do have a divine connection and you are being enlightened during this time but your self-esteem is being built back up during this time as well it's like you're building up your self-esteem you're building up your self-confidence and you're building up your self-love and you're becoming one because i see this i see you becoming one with the divine there's a lot of enlightenment here and i think that's really what your focus is on this month it's on self-love so that when real love comes in you're ready for it it is about self-love there's no doubt there's no doubt you guys are gaining inner abundance this month and it's and it's you're probably vibrating very highly you're probably very um attractive this month you're probably glowing there's a lot of um self love like i said i hate to keep repeating myself but the empress is the is the description of self love okay and that's who you are becoming and this is for a man or a woman okay because if you think about it, I mean, I don't know if you know this, some, many of you do, that earth signs and water signs are more fe more feminine and fire and air are more masculine. So this is for a man or a woman. I feel like this is a time of, of growth. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time of renewal where you may fi find yourself emotionally withdrawn because you're focusing on yourself and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you need to do so that when this the right connection comes in if you're single whatever you'll be ready for it okay and I have to tell you that um, if you are single you are calling in you are calling in this person that you're waiting for by working on yourself by allowing yourself to go through this renewal and this rebirth if you are in a relationship you're still going through that rebirth and you're still finding that love within yourself Okay, you, you Scorpios are going through some sort of rebirth right now. Finding your self-esteem, finding your self-worth, and finding that self-love. Through enlightenment, through, through, through uh, sacrifice, okay? There is a lot of sacrifice here. There was a loss of power. Okay, because we're headed down towards the past here, into the present. There was a loss of power. There's a lack of seeing the truth of who you really are. And that's why you needed to go through this period of, of mental conflict. Or you have been, not that you needed it, but you have been so that you could become enlightened. I think that you guys didn't know how powerful you really are. Here you don't know the power, you don't know the truth, you, you don't see the truth of who you are, and you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you, resisting change. Then you find out, then you realize the truth, you accept the truth, and you start to take action to bring success to your life. Anyway, I feel as though there is some sort of... Um, change that is happening within you that allows you... Or is asking you to stop resisting change, to just go with the flow, to use the resources, to shed your old ways and not hold on to what doesn't serve you anymore. Yeah, stop investing in things that that don't cause, I mean, don't, stop, in, if I can even talk, stop investing in things that cause you to hurt don't invest in those it feels as though you've been holding on to something that's unrealistic and dissatisfying and this this could be a job i'm not sure what it is could be relationship you've been holding on to something that isn't 
turning out the way that you had hoped, but you're still holding on to it. And therefore, you've lost your faith. You've lost faith. You've lost belief in yourself. So whatever is happening in your life, whatever withdrawal that you're going through is really serving you because it's allowing you the growth that you need. It really is. Um, you do have a new opportunity on the horizon for love if you're single. It is around the corner. But it doesn't come until you're ready for it. It won't come until you prove that you love yourself, until you have that ultimate self-love, until you're ready, until, you've, until you are feeling abundant with who you are, until you know that you are abundant. That's when this new opportunity will come in. The Five of Cups reversed is a new opportunity for love, a new prospect on the horizon. But you have to be happy with who you are, and this is unhappiness with the Four of Wands reversed, discontent. Therefore, you still have work to do to flip this card around, to make yourself this Ace of Cups. This is love, okay? So there is a new opportunity for love coming in after you, you put yourself... First, you know, when you find that inner abundance, you find the resources to bring that to your reality, that's when this love will come in. So, interesting. You guys have to, um, yeah, you guys have been reluctant to see a new approach. You've been stuck in the mud. Stuck in the troubled waters. And that's why you need to go through this renewal. You have to go through this rebirth. You need to find yourself again. You need to use the wisdom that you've learned through some sort of suffering, throughout, through chaos. You need to use that wisdom as growth. You need to look at it from a different perspective and you do you do need to look at things something from a new perspective with that hanging man that's that saying that you need to look at something from a new perspective it was growth if so whatever happened was to happened to bring you growth anyway it feels as though you guys are trying to find some balance in your life and you're probably feeling a little overwhelmed at this time maybe you're doing too much maybe you got too much on your plate maybe you have to let something go so that you can find balance in your life. I feel as though there is something that you are dealing with that is unrealistic and it doesn't serve you. If there's something that's unrealistic, it doesn't serve you, it doesn't bring you power, it doesn't give you what you need, it's a little overwhelming and you need to make that decision to let it go, okay? So that you can so that you can move on from it. It's not fulfilling you emotionally. I don't know what it is, but you do. I feel as though you need to be strong during this time. You need to be decisive and you need to be the boss of your own life. You need to put yourself first. You need to be the leader in your life. I also see a soulmate connection here. So I don't know if this is somebody you're with now or this person that's coming around the corner. I don't know, but there is a soulmate connection here. Could be with Aries. Okay, just saying. Because um, the Empress and the Emperor are soulmates, okay? They are. So there is a soulmate connection. But this person probably isn't in your life yet. They probably aren't because you haven't found that the amount of self-love that you need to manifest them in. The manifestation is happening, but it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Now we have another one, but it's reversed. So there's a lack of power. There's a lack of communication. There's a lack of truth. But it, it's a one reversed. So the full manifestation of this soulmate or whatever it is hasn't happened yet because you haven't found the power. The power hasn't hasn't happened yet because you're still a little overwhelmed. You're still juggling. You're still going back and forth. You're still juggling with that power because the infinity sign is power. You're still playing with it. You haven't, you know, chosen it yet. You haven't found it yet. So I feel as though you guys still haven't moved to the spa of, of calm waters in your love life because the full love for, your, for oneself hasn't been obtained yet. It hasn't. But you're close. You're working on it. I can see that you're working on it. Okay? So I do feel like there's a new opportunity in love here for those of you that are single. There's a new opportunity. Um, if you are in a relationship, there could be some sort of 
reconnection even if you could find it in yourself to uh to put yourself first and take the lead and, and change your thoughts change your ways change your perspective there's an opportunity for a reconciliation if you are in a relationship if you're not i think this is a new love i think this is a new opportunity for love after you love with your, yourself and i don't think it's with somebody that you've known i don't think it's somebody from your past i think it's somebody brand new so, Scorpio, this is what I have for July. Good luck.